السلام علیکم جی برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز اینڈ ویلکم ٹو قرآن این اسلام آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ یور بیسٹ فار دا آخرہ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان دا پریویس مینی ویڈیوز وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ اسٹرانگلی جیوز بلیو ان دا ایونٹس دیٹ ول ہیپن رائٹ بفور دا آخرہ دے آر ویجیلنٹلی نوٹنگ ایچ اینڈ ایوری سائن آف دا لاسٹ آر اینڈ دے آر ورکنگ ایکسٹریملی ہارڈ ٹو اچیو دیئر گولس وچ از ٹو سیز دا مسجد الاقصی and build the heckle of Soleimani. We know that while the Muslims are waiting for their savior, Imam Mahdi, the Jews are waiting for the Dajjal. As the Jews will stand by the Dajjal as his army and fight Muslims. While the state of Israel and the Jews are focusing on demolishing the Masjid Al-Aqsa, they are after one more thing, the sword of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Have you heard of this sword, brothers and sisters? The name of the sword is Al-Mathur. It is said that it weighs a hefty 60 kilograms, which is hard to believe as it looks so thin and light. Its fist is made from gold and emeralds and the blade is 60 cm wide. The original sword is kept in the Topkapi Museum in Turkey and several replicas of it are available throughout the world. This sword still has some very important significance in the present day. and that is why the jews are trying their best to get their hands on this sword as most of the signs of the end of times have already appeared the jews are just getting ready to welcome their savior the dajjal but they are also well aware of the savior of muslims imam mahdi and hazrat isa alaihi salam they know that under the leadership of hazrat isa alaihi salam and imam mahdi alaihi salam muslims will fight the jews According to a hadith, the Muslims will track down the Jews and kill each one of them. When they hide behind a tree, the tree itself will tell the Muslims that there is a Jew behind it, except for one tree, the tree of Gharqat. Now you know why there are so many Gharqat trees in Israel. And that's how we know that the Jews are preparing themselves against the great war where Muslims will kill Israel. the Jews not just that hazrat isa alaihi salam will kill the dajjal and the jews are also preparing for that according to a sunan ibn majah tradition hazrat isa bin maryam alaihi salam will chase down the dajjal until they meet at a place called lud which is a city in israel some other traditions say that hazrat isa alaihi salam will be carrying a sword the same sword that prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam had used in his life this sword will then kill the dajjal this is the reason why the jews are using all efforts to take that sword to protect ourselves from the fitna of the dajjal allah's prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam has told us to recite the surah al kahf a strong faith will always stand in the way of any fitna and us so we should always remember allah strengthen our belief in him and pray for the redemption of our sins may allah protect us against the fitna of the dajjal don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update till next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh